Hello again. We are uh, en route uh, to Ibiza Airport, uh, flying from Palma de Mallorca. Um, I would like to show you a little bit uh, the FIS and the MCP functions. Um, I will begin with uh, the EFIS. Uh, we can we can use uh, to see the weather radar. We can see a station. Here we can see we can change the range. We can see waypoints along the route. We can see see any airport in the range. We can see uh, information if in, uh, in the points we are going to fly. Okay. And we can see uh, terrain. But now we are over, over the, the sea, so you, we don't see anything. Okay. Uh, in this knob, we change the, the barometer. When, with one push, we change from the standard to the one we, we select. As you see, we are changing. And if you push again, we see the standard. Uh, we have here the flight path vector. That's it. You must see here. It gives you the position of the tail uh, compared with the, the nose of the plane. This is uh, very useful when there is one uh, wind. We can see here uh, the altitude in meters. You can see here. And we can, uh, we use this knob to see the plan, the route plan. to see the, the map, a normal presentation of the BOR, and the approach mode. Here we can select to see the board one or ADF one. You can see here how it's changing from board to ADF, and the same with the number two, ADF or board. Okay. This one is the auto throttle. We are actually uh, flying in BNAV mode and BNAV and LNAV. Uh, I will disconnect the BNAV just to show you uh, another vertical mode, like for example the vertical vertical speed. Okay. To change uh, from BNAV, we have to to select another vertical mode. Now we are flying with auto throttle on. Uh, the speed we have selected is, is selected is 294. We will set 320. That is selected here, and uh, we can select this speed to go to 320. And if we want to climb to 20,000 feet, we can do it in some ways for example using vertical speed the plane will go to 20,000 feet with 1,000 feet uh, per uh, second so see here so 1,000 feet of, of uh, vertical speed or we can use level change Level change always engage in one when we are climbing. That means that the, the plane will uh, put the, the throttle levers at the maximum uh, N1 commanded, in this, in this case in cruise, to reach 20,000 feet. So he will uh, adjust the, the pitch to, to reach that uh, altitude. If we want, want to, to stop the, in the altitude we are flying, actually, we push Alt Hold. So you see here Alt Hold, 
and the vertical speed is going to be uh, zero. If we want, want to make a descent, for example, we will go to 8,000 feet and we push level change and one is not engaged but he put the throttles in idle and will use the pitch necessary to maintain 320 knots to reach 8,000 feet okay okay we will stop the, the descent Uh, Elnav, Elnav is uh, engaged now, so the plane is following the route that I have selected in the FMC. Okay, and uh, BNAV controls the vertical navigation commanded in the in the FMC. Okay, Borlock. Borlock now is engaged, and you can see that here is in white. Why is it is in white? Because his arm is not active. Will be active when the plane will uh, localize the the course of the BOR selected. We have uh, a speed intervention. Speed intervention uh, button. Uh, allows you to change the uh, actual speed without touching the FMC. If we want to return to the uh, enough uh, speed, you see that now we are flying in MCP speed, we have to disengage pinup and arm pinup again. So now you see but we have BNAV speed and BNAV path. Approach mode. Approach mode is not working now because we, 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 don't, we don't have the ILS uh, selected in the, uh, in the radius. It's not selected here. But we we'll arm um, glide slope and board lock. Heading cell is used to, to go to, uh, to the heading that we would uh, like, for example, in this moment. I selected a 291 heading and the plane is starting to 291 heading. Okay. If I want to return, Let's turn to the left. We have here a banking selector, depending on the bank angle that we want. Now we have in, in 10, but normal is here. Okay. If I change to vertical speed, we will begin the descent. This is a change over button to change between match and ES. This is uh, used uh, above 260,000 uh, feet. Okay. This is a flight director that is on or off. There are two flight directors. Okay. And uh, I think everything is uh, it's explained. Oh, okay, we have the control wheel steering. This is used uh, to make the plane uh, behave like an Airbus. We have control wheel steering right and control wheel steering P. If I select a bank angle, he will maintain that, that angle. Or if I select a pitch, the plane will maintain that pitch. 
Okay, let's return to the normal autopilot. And we set lateral navigation to return. Okay. This is the range to see closest. This is the vertical situation display that it shows when you push the th center two times. That shows you the uh, the uh, angle. If there is terrain, you would see here. But now we are over the the sea, so nothing to nothing to show. Bef uh, below ten thousand feet, we have to change from a standard to the actual um, to the actual uh, barometer. Okay, you can see here. We have the ILS for 22, 24 runway uh, active. We have to set uh, two hundred and fifty knots below ten thousand feet. We will stop the descent. Okay. We can put, use a little bit the spoiler. See what happened with the speed. Okay, so we are below 250, we can continue our descent. Or we will try to maintain 2000 feet in our in our descent using level change. Thrust levers are down. Okay, so hope you enjoy this FNC, MCP and FE's explain. Thank you very much.